Hey Bellas, I am back. I know it's been over a week and I am so, so sorry. But welcome back to my channel. This week has been so busy and stressful for me. Just because y'all know I'm finna get ready to go to Miami and it's finna be Christmas and I just have so much going on in my life. I've been working so much, like I've been working every day um, and I just be tired. I be having too much going on, I'm trying to get gift, Christmas gifts together, um, trying to get my whole entire life together before I go to Miami. So I was determined today to make a video for you guys. I just wanted to show my face. I wanted to give you guys something before before Christmas, like, of course, y'all, like, I had to give y'all something before Christmas, being that I'm oh so busy, but my life is just a mess right now, but it's okay, it's totally fine, Bella's, like, I'm okay, I'm gonna get it together before Christmas, I'm gonna get it together before Christmas, um, but thanks for tuning in again, if you like my videos, make sure you're subscribing, because, um, I wanted 200 subscribers before the new year, but from the looks of it, I'm not going to get it. But that's because I haven't been very consistent, so I'm okay with that. But make sure you all are subscribing. At least help me try to re reach that goal. Um, make sure y'all subscribe, like, and leave comments. Um, next so up, yeah, if you want to change this look, keep with watching. Maybelline's Master Primer. This primer is really, really good, and it can be found at your local drugstore. And I just also want to add, I'm sorry about my nails. I am getting them done this week, and I wanted to wait till I go home to Dallas to go to my original nail tech. Now time for my brows. Um, the brows make your face. That's why I always start off with my brows first. Um, sometimes I don't, but most of the times I start off with my brows. And for my brows, I just use Elf's Black Cream. I use black because it gives me a bolder look, but I don't apply as much. And today's eyebrows are pretty just all over the place. They're not just completely perfect. They're more natural than perfect. Now I'm going in with my concealer. I believe it's Maybelline's Fit Me Concealer. And I'm just going to go in and clean up my brows and blend that out with my skin. I've been getting a lot of questions about what foundation I use and people are so surprised that I don't use MAC as my main foundation. I use Walmart's Fit Me by Maybelline and I use two different shades because my skin is kind of funny acting and I absolutely love this foundation. It gives me pretty much a full coverage and it's really just so amazing. And it stays on all day. It's pre it's a pretty good foundation. And I wouldn't say it's better than MAC. But for my everyday look, it is a bum foundation. So y'all should go try it. It's probably like 5 to $6. It's really, really reasonable. So now I'm going to go it's in really great. with my eyeshadow and place this in my crease. And this is going to be pretty much my transitioning color. gonna go in with this color this orangish color is very very light and I'm just gonna add that on top of my transition color and into my crease I don't know what eyeshadow this is because it's so old as you can see it's so so old so I don't know the name of it sorry now I'm gonna use this color and I'm just gonna apply that to the outside of my lid and into my crease and if you guys noticed, um, I'm going to list my eyeshadow at the bottom of the screen in the video and the name and all this can I be found at Ulta and they usually have a sale going on like buy one get one half off.
Now I'm gonna move on to my lid. And I sprayed this with my e.l.f. setting spray just to get it a little more like pigmented and make it pop a little more. If you notice, it pops a lot more when I spray it with my spray. And I just put that all over my lid and cover my lid. Now I'm just going to go in and blend that all out, of course. And I kind of blend it a little too much because it started cutting off the color into my crease. I mean, onto my lid and I didn't notice until I got to the end of the video. Um, this was kind of a last minute ad and I love this eyeshadow. It's a pigment from MAC. I spray it with my setting spray and I'm just going to put that into the um, front part of my eyelid and into my um, into the inner corner of my eyes and I really love this color so much. I don't use it that much because I used to and I'm just going to go in and blend that out of course. color and define my crease a little more but I think at the end I blended it a little too much like always but it was okay it came out okay I'm going in with my Fit Me concealer. I used two of those as well to get the color that I want. And I just put that under my eyes um, and at the highest point of my face. And um, I love this concealer. This could also be bought at Walmart. And it's probably like $5. Now it's time to blend. Um, I go in with my Beauty Blender by Real Technique. I love this Beauty Blender and I spray it with my e.l.f. setting spray because I like it a little damp and I found that with it being a, like a little damp with the setting spray, it applies so much easier and it blends so much better. And I'm just gonna go in and blend this out until it's like really, really blended. Blending is so important when it comes to makeup and I'm just gonna blend it out. I'm gonna go in um, and contour. I use Pro Concealer and I use it in Dark Cocoa and Espresso. And I forgot to get the coverage of the Dark Cocoa at the end, you'll notice it. But I just go in and I blend that out as well. And yeah. Also, I might be looking a little crazy looking because my face really don't come together until the end. So, sorry, I'm just warning you guys, I'm looking a little crazy right now. Now, I'm going to be setting my face with Fit Me's Maybelline um, powder, just regular powder, and I'm just going to set my face. So, now I'm going to be 
going in and setting my highlight with Ben Nye's banana pattern. I really don't like this that much, but when I'm doing a full face, I make sure I use it. And I usually don't let it sit for too long because I just don't like the after effect. I don't know why. And now I'm going to be contouring my nose and I just go in with my espresso and just blend that out and into my eyebrow to make sure it looks very, very natural. And yeah. After I um, wipe off all the excess powder, I go in with one of my contour kits. I forgot which one it is. And I just darken up my contour. And then I go in with my Sephora mineralizer. And I just kind of um, bronze my cheeks a little bit. I really, really love this, like, a lot. Like, again, I, I really, really love, love this mineralizer. It's really, really good for bronzing. But I'm going to go in with my CoverGirls blush, and I'm just going to apply that to my cheekbones. And then next I'm going to go in with my Fit Me blush. It's in a lighter shade, and it kind of give me kind of give me the color um the glow that I like and then I go in with my eyeshadow palette and I just go ahead and get those li the lightest colors out of the palette and it shimmers and I just add that to make my glow if you watch my glow video then you will know you can see in better details and yeah now I'm gonna just go in and do a simple eyeliner cat eye and yeah that's about that that's really all i'm surprised i got it on camera usually i don't get it on camera so i decided to show y'all it's very simple most of the time i like literally messes up my eyeliner every single time and i really just i hate eyeliner i really really hate eyeliner now i'm gonna go in with those two eyeshadows and just apply it to the bottom of my eyes and just to give it a, a better effect. I'm also going to be applying um, the MAC pigment into my inner corners of my eyes because it kind of faded away once I did all that blending. Most of the time I over blend. I'm trying to learn not to over blend. Now my favorite part, my eyelashes. I use Kiss eyelashes and I absolutely love them and I double them up every single time. When they're doubled up, they give so much of a dramatic look and they're just so awesome. They're they're really natural and now time for my lipstick. If you know me, you know I absolutely love Smoke Purple from MAC like I have been wearing this years I cannot go without it I use it mainly for my outlining and I don't like the lip pencil I like the lipstick so I use it for my outlining I wear it as one and I just absolutely love smoke purple from MAC like it's my all-time favorite and then I just outline my lips 